the new book has taken some time to get here. Um, but I'm glad it's taken time. It's not the book that I would have written even five years ago. It's meant that this book, I think, now truly reflects the, the way of seeing inquiry that I think many of us that work in this field acknowledge um, as different to perhaps how we, we saw it 20 years ago. Um, back then, Inquiry was something that maybe we tended to look at as almost like another subject in the curriculum. There were times in the week where we did inquiry. Now we see it more as a way of being as a teacher, that whatever we're teaching, whatever students are learning, we can position them as inquirers. We can have that approach, that, that disposition um, across the curriculum. It's also a book that I think shows now the important shift we all acknowledge that has to happen around building kids' skills and dispositions. In an age where information is so readily available, inquiry needs to be about inquiring into how we go about learning and what it means to be a powerful learner. As Guy Claxton says, it's about building students' learning power. So this is a book that is as much about inquiring into communication and self-management and thinking and collaboration and research. These, these 21st century skills and dispositions like curiosity and risk-taking and persistence. It's as much a book about that and inquiring into who we are as learners as, is, as it is about how we can teach kids to inquire into the world around them. It's resolutely practical um, my natural habitat is the classroom. I hope that it's a book that, as I've tried to before, um, sits in that interesting space that connects theory and practice. It's a book inspired by the amazing teachers I've worked with all around the world over the last 10 years or so. Um, and I'm proud of it.